Hi guys, it's Taz101 Saga. Today I thought I'd do a video showing you how to disassemble or field strip an MG42 machine gun. Now, this is my example, which is a post-war Yugoslavian M53, but as far as the field strip goes, they are exactly the same. The M53 is basically in a, in a German MG42 with different markings, and uh, it doesn't have a cutout for the AA site. Other than that, it's completely the same. So whether you've got an MG42 or an M53, this video will apply to both. This won't be edited as usual, so bear with me that it may take a bit longer than an edited video. So the first thing that you want to do is, if you've got, say, a bout or a drum mag or any lovely stuff like that, just get rid of it because it's only going to get in the way later on. also helps to have a screwdriver or a punch um, because your pin to get the cutter off may be a bit stiff, so that can help. So like I said, first thing, just get rid of the belt or the drum mat and lay that away. Obviously, if you're doing it with a live weapon, then obviously just uh, check the chambers unloaded, but since it's deactivated, it doesn't matter. Right, the first thing to do is underneath the buttstock, there is a little pin. Now, it's very easy to find. It's basically right there. You'll be able to squeeze it like that. Simply squeeze that pin in as far as it will go, that little punch, and rotate the stock 45 degrees clockwise, and it simply comes off. So lay that to one side. I'm trying to get the screen the right way up. There we go, right. Similar to that button I just showed you, there is another one underneath here, you can see it on the camera. It toggles like that. So the way to do this simply push on that and this is the back of the buffer assembly so you want to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise until it jumps out at you the recoil spring will come out with it so there's your buffer assembly just place that to one side then you can pull out your recoil spring place that to one side lift up, lift up your uh, top cover and your feed tray now the feed tray should fit snugly into the top cover like that. It won't click but it will just sort of slide in. This is your charging handle and here you can see uh, my bolt assembly is in the forward position. So this is the bolt assembly. So what you simply do is you grab hold of the charging handle, just pull to the trigger until it clicks. Hold the trigger down and push the, uh, well you don't have to hold the trigger but it makes things easier. The bolt assembly just slides right out of the back like that, there's your bolt assembly, place that on the side. Now the charging handle, you'll notice there is a little, try and get you a close up on there, there's a little clip here, or a little bit which sort of springs out. If you bend the charging handle halfway you'll notice that that pops out. Simply pull that to the rear and it will just drop out the side like that. Place that to one side. That's basically your receiver disassembled, and uh, the safety can also be operated only when the gun is cocked, so it doesn't work otherwise. Next thing you want to just take your feed cover off of um, your feed cover and your feed tray, remove that from the receiver. The way to do this is there's a little pin on the side of it which you want to push in from this side. Now you can see just there. There's the little pin. The other side is like a little um, knob which protrudes out. So from the right side, simply want to grab a screwdriver, which is the right size to fit in there like that, or a punch. Get a hammer or just something to knock it through with. Now, the mistake a lot of people make when they try to do this, they can't get out and they think, oh, why is it not coming out? You want to hold it up so it's basically vertical to the gun, whatever angle the gun's at. Now it helps if you just put your shoulder on it, because it keeps it in one place. It can be a bit tricky. Sometimes you'll be able to just pull it out, but I have to use a puncture in mine. So you just simply put that in, just tap it gently. Don't worry about your feed tray falling down, because that will happen. Pull your screwdriver out. Just wiggle your pin from the other side, and it will pull straight out. And there's your pin, so lay that to one side. Now you can simply lift off, the top, lift off the top cover and the feed tray will slide out. Now you can see how these two sort of sit with the pin between them like that. 
lay those to either side. Last thing you need to do, and also you could actually do this at the beginning if you wanted, it just sort of helps to stop them from getting damaged. Just flip the rear and the front sides down till it clicks. Now turn the gun upside down. I think your par parents are going mad at me for scratching the floor up here. But, uh, there is a little tab at the top of the, um, where the bipod is, but not the top of it. This little tab here is what you want to push at. Now just simply have the bipod so it's open freely. Push on that and the back will simply pop out and you can see where that collapses, it just slides under this uh, like ring. Then you can slide the front end out. And there's your bipod basically. That's popped out nicely. Let's lay that to the other side again. And then that's as far as you can actually strip down a new spec one. Obviously you could remove the barrel on the old specs and uh, you lift up this to remove the booster cone, but you can't do it on here. So just lay the entire gun to one side. Right, so you can either grab your feed cover or your bolt assembly. Might as well do the bolt assembly first. And I'll show you how to disassemble that. So here's your bolt assembly. Now, the way to disassemble this the new specs, and I'm not sure about the old specs because I haven't seen one in person, but they don't have the rollers in the recesses here, so you don't need to worry about pushing the rollers out. So all you simply do is, I'll face the bolt towards you so you can get a better idea. Just rotate the bolt head manually till it clicks, and then that will detach, like so. Just trying to get this all in view, it's a bit difficult to... Uh, because I really want to make sure you can see this. This is your striker sleeve. Yeah, it's just protruding out. Just drop that and that will come out. Now, not all the guns will have this bolt catch because it wasn't added on the really early models, but most of them will. So you have that, you simply just slide that out of there, like that. Place those down. So that's that part that's assembled. You can disassemble the bolt body if you want further, but it's not really necessary for a GX30 gun. Next, you grab your bolt head. This is your ejector. Just simply tilt the uh, bolt back and that will slide out. It's a bit fiddly on my one for some reason. But, uh, just think I need some oil. There you go. There's your ejector. Push that down. Pull this out from the rear, just place that one side, and this is what's left your firing pin that just simply pulls out. So that's your bolt disassembled. Next thing, I'll show you how to do the, uh, the feed cover, which is of course this part. Now this part is a little bit more tricky, or can be a little bit more tricky, because this tab can have various different tensions, depending on how long it's been left in place for. So the way I find easiest to do it, is just to push it on a knee because that's the easiest way. Now this tab here you can see that sort of springs like that and there's a spring up here. Now what you want to do is you want to push this down and push it upwards at the same time. So if you just simply place that on your knee push this and then push that and once it clicks you'll be able to lift it up like that. Now this is your feed arm and you can see where the connector is there where it joins the two feed pores. Now the bit you're looking at is underneath. So what you can do is you want to put your fingers around that. Now you see where this moves left and right. You want to push it so it's about halfway then lift up on the assembly and also lift up on the feed pores which are these parts at the same time. Oh yeah sorry I forgot. You need to lift the spring up there. You'll be able to slide your feed pores out. Place those to one side. Now at the top of your feed arm, there's a little spring, which is where it fits into here. You can see that on the side there. So simply just squeeze that, wriggle it about a bit. And then it comes off. And then you just simply slide it out with the connector bar there. Place the feet onto one side, your connector, which is the last piece here, simply pull that off. 
So that's basically everything that's assembled in a very random order. So when you've got all your pieces, it should look something like this. It's quite a simple gun really, it's not as complicated as many think. Uh, I'd say it's moderately easy to disassemble and reassemble. So now I'm going to show you how to reassemble it. Because if you've got if you needed a video to get this far, then you probably gonna need one to get it back together. So starting exactly where we left off. Is your uh, empty feed cover again. So what you're gonna do is just grab your connector bar, which is of course the last piece you remove. Now the correct way to put it in, you want to have it so this side is facing up. Now the way you can identify that is there is like a curved side like that. And on the underside, it's basically diagonal shapes. So you want to get it so you've got this way facing up. If you're having difficulty with that, just pause the video at the right moment and then you'll be able to notice it. Simply slide that onto this one. Now this one is roughly in the middle there. So just slide that over. Next thing you want to get your, uh, this is the feed arm. Now this part here, which is on the other side, needs to fit into this slot in the tooth there. So turn it up the right way. Just slide that in. You'll know when you've got it in because when it moves incorrectly, you'll sort of feel it anyway. It's a bit hard to do it when there's a... There you go. Right. So then you'll see that rotate. Now that little spring I showed you earlier, you want to put it over this little portion. Squeeze the spring as hard as it'll go. Just slide that over and it'll click. And there you go. You got that back in place. Now move this so, say if you're looking at the bottom, you want to move that to the left side. Then you'll see this tooth, of course, moves in the opposite direction. Now move that so it's obviously on the left side. Grab your feed paws. Now if they've sort of moved out of line like that, don't worry, just simply move that back. And make sure you don't lose the little springs under the, uh, the feed paws there. So, same similar way to which you got it off, lift up this whole assembly. You'll be able to lift that up like that. And you same as you did with that, this part, the corner there, needs to in line with the opposite side of the tooth. It's just in line that and it will drop onto its own little ax axle there. Just drop that back in. And there you go. Now you can only put it in the right way, so if it doesn't go in then you you won't be able to put it in if you've done it wrong then you'll see that whole assembly moving. Now with the tank, this little spring here, just push that down, place it onto your knee again, push this tab as hard as it will go and then just push it back up till it clicks. You know it's got tension again, just check everything's working properly. I have to say I do really love the, uh, the feed pores on there. They're quite easy to maintain. And uh, I've got to point out that these parts should have good spring tension, so check they've got good tension when you get it. Now we'll go back to the bolt assembly. Right, so as I showed you before, just pick up your bolt head, which is this piece. That's a bit oily, so I'll just grab your ejector, which is this piece. Now you can see the little hole just there, which that fits into. So just place that, drop that into the hole. And it'll fit in nice like that, and just make sure it's uh, obviously level-ish. Now this is what holds your firing pin, also what will push the rollers out on the uh, normal one. Now, what's left of your firing pin, there'll be a darker end and a lighter end. You want to make sure the lighter end is going in that way. Now you can see where this has like a a circular shape on the bottom end and a flat part on the top. It has this corresponding shape on here. So what you want to do is obviously find that circular part at the bottom, just in line that. Like just like the feed cover, it will only go in if it's gone in the right way. There you go. Now the easiest way I find to do this bit, this is what can trick a lot of people out. It definitely took me a while to figure out. But this part here, your bolt catch, now the bolt catches are different with um, various guns, but a lot of them are like this. <clears throat> One end will be protruding more than the other end. And the striker sleeve here will normally have an end which is uh, caught up like that. 
which will hit the ring at the back by the air. So basically slide that in. Now you want to make sure that this end is going in first. So if you hold your bolt assembly, for, I'll just hold it facing you so it's more obvious. Now obviously this is the bottom, so you want to make sure it goes in that way. Now slide that in so it's on the side, like that. Just pause the video if you need to. And grab your bolt assembly. Now you want to make, obviously rotate it the same way you got it off. So you just put it together like that and push it as hard as you can. Now you need to be make sure that this is perfectly on the side or you won't be able to reassemble it. Now, just place that in and twist it. And just make sure it's in line and then you've got your bolt assembly back together. If you've got any questions which you're really finding difficult with this piece, just send us a message or a video response and I can help you out further if you need to. So next we'll go back to the gun. So to reinsert the, what do we need, the bipod, is that little tab I showed you earlier. Make sure that the longer part is facing the, the rear of the gun. So like I showed you, just slide the front end in first, push on this little, this little tab at the back, drop the back end in, and then you've got it. Turn the gun up the other way, and scratch your floor. Then we'll put, it's time to put the, uh, the feed tray back on. So I'll zoom into that. Now there are two little slots, obviously the uh, ones on the inside. So you need to make sure that those, the, these two little parts are hooking into that. Like that. And you then get your feed cover, which obviously fits into the middle. Now I'll probably have to move the camera over this side for the next part or it won't make sense. Right, this is the hole obviously where the, sorry, this is the hole where the pin needs to go. So just grab that pin again. Now the way you want to put it in is this part, obviously you can see one, I'll hold it the right way around, one part is sort of a cut, it's like a circular angle which corresponds to the shape on there. So you want to hold the, the feed tray out whilst you're doing it. Hold them both together. Make sure the gun is upright and the feed cover is in the right place. And slide that in the side. Can get a bit tricky to do, but you'll get the hang of it eventually. Just grab your hammer and once the pin is in part of the way, just gently tap it. Drop your feed cover, that's what I find easiest anyway, give it another tap. Because uh, it's kind of the wrong shape, hard to get over the feed cover, so you have to have it the right angle. Or right there you go, you've got it all the way back in. You can see it will go flush with the side. So you can drop your feed cover back down, and your uh, top cover of course. We'll actually keep top cover up to get that. And the first thing you need to reinsert is the charging handle. Now, just tap this on the ground so uh, it's, the handle springs out to the side. There's a little cutout here just behind where the trigger is. And obviously uh, the rear portion will slide in. And I'll just move that a bit. So this little L shape bit, the hook, you want to hook that in there and move it to the furthest part away. Slide the back end in line and push the handle about halfway and then just push forward and that goes straight back in. Next you need to reinsert your bolt assembly which is of course this part. Now the correct way to put it in this little roller on the top there you want to make sure that's facing up and these two parts are at the bottom because that's this is what slides over the sear of course because it's an open bolt weapon. So just push on the rear of it to get that back in. 
Now you need to squeeze the trigger again to get it back in. Just push that all the way forward, like that. Next, grab your what you call spring, you can put it in either way because it's obviously just a spring. So pop that back to its flush. Now the way to get the buffer assembly back in, you should have a serial number on the top. And one side there has a cutout, the other side doesn't. So the side that has the cutout, you want that to be facing the left side of the gun and the side that's flat to be on the right side of the gun. Just simply put, put it inside the uh, spring, push it in, then rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, just the opposite to the way you got it off. This is your butt stock, and there's that button. Just squeeze that button, turn it back on. And when you get it in the right place, it will click like that. Pop your uh, cover down. Of that, then you just want to do a quick function check. All you want to do is to uh, uh, basically pull the charging out tool to make sure that the uh, the bolt locks to the rim. Lift up your top cover, and you can see it's nicely in the rear there. If you want to release it forward without firing it, just pull the uh, charging handle or switch those freely. Hold onto the trigger and just release that forward. Move your feed arm to the left side, shut it down, and that's it. You're done. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to post them. And thanks for watching, I guess. See you around.